The Alco blow is illegal, at least for now. A major blow to the National Transport and Safety Authority, which has been wielding the breathalyzer on the roads, aiming to sober up with appropriate penalties those who indulge in alcohol and still sit behind the wheel. The Court of Appeals' three-judge bench ruling states that rules on the breathalyzer are inconsistent with the Traffic Act and are therefore null and void. As the judges ruled, and I quote, they are incapable of creating an offense, end of quote. And so until Parliament does the requisite legislation, NTSA cannot prosecute drunk drivers on evidence obtained from the Alcoblo. Coming on a Friday afternoon, the appeal court ruling understandably triggered a frenzy of celebrations among motorists with thirsty plans for the evening. But the celebrations could be premature, misplaced or both, at least according to the NTSA, which is refusing to back down. The authority is warning such motorists to hold their breath. A statement from the Director General Francis Major says NTSA informs members of the public that driving under the influence of alcohol is an offense and that the authority will continue to execute its mandate so as to keep our roads safe. End of quote. The authority insists that since it introduced the gadget on Kenyan roads, it has tamed road carnage caused by drunk drivers significantly. The NTSA is apparently finding solace in the fact that the judges agreed drunk driving is a dangerous vice that must be fought. In fact, the judges threw out the rest of the appeal by the proprietor of Reminis Bar in Nairobi who had blamed Alcoblo for ruining his business. Although road carnage has not reduced dramatically, NTSA says their ability to bring road accident fatalities to below the 3,000 mark per year over the past few years is an indication that their strategies, one of them being the introduction of the Alcoblo, is helping to bring sanity back to the roads. Is the outlawing of the Alcoblo the result of the influential liquor industry fighting back? Well, the jury is out there. But what remains baffling is that scores of motorists would rather be policed to save their own lives. Sylvie Tibet, Citizen Weekend.